Did you do it? You didn't go down on her. No, I can't talk about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? What's up? It's lip service. And this is our first ever lip service that we are doing uh, during coronavirus pandemic. We're all in our respective homes. So we are social distancing. But I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm L'Oreal. And we I have. I'm Soja Boy. <laughs> Love the boy from 90 Day Fiance. And by the way, we are huge fans, all of us, of the show. I think I said it all. You did. Yeah, yeah. You Thank you so did. much. Um, I really appreciate that. <laughs> Angela had all of us watching the show. Like, I knew nothing about it. And I was so against watching at first. I was like, I don't want to watch anything like that. She was like, I'm telling you, it's going to be addictive. And ever since then, hooked. Okay? Oh, thank hooked. you. Yeah. I, I, yeah, thank you. I know Angela has been my fan. For a very long time, you know, I, I watched the interview that she was talking to, you know, uh, Soldier Boy, the American rapper Soldier Boy. And she was like, do you know about this guy? I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> so she did you name yourself really... because of Soldier Boy? Or was it just, like, where did that come from? Um, My name Soldier Boy came out because um, in my family, we have, uh, I have about three elder brothers. They are all in the military. So, and um, I choose the career of being an entertainer. So I was like, what kind of name am I going to choose that is going to be unique to me, you know? So I was like, okay, my brother is a soldier. Another brother is a soldier. I also have another brother. I was like, okay, let me just choose soldier boy. <laughs> and I choose soldier boy. And everybody was like, so, like, how did you come up with the name soldier boy? So the, the, the reality of it is that I got the name, I get the inspiration to give myself the name from my brothers that are, uh, you know, working in the military. Okay. That's now, cool. What did you and Lisa hook up? Um, Big love. Yeah, I met with Lisa on social media, but we just don't meet um, just like that. I had a friend from Europe. Uh, I met with that friend in uh, Tanzania. There's a country called Tanzania. I traveled to uh, in 2014. That's where I met the lady, and she's from uh, she's from UK. So she she was kind of you know she's my fan. After the performance from the stage, she was like, "Yeah, I love the way you you know because I I usually sing in my language, my local." She was like, "What language is that?" I told her that is my language, Hausa language. She was like, "Wow, it's nice," and I really love that. I was like, "Thank you," and um, we exchange number. We start talking to each other. After she go back to her country, I come back to Nigeria. We continue. She was showing us that like she liked me, but you know I I have career to pursue, so I was not really interested in you know paying attention to relationship that much because it may likely distract me. So I was not paying attention, and um, she was continued being patient. Mm -hmm. You know, thinking that maybe you accept for us to be you know to date, and maybe if possible we get married, but that didn't work out. We just remain as friends, and one certain time. She was like, I had a friend, she's in United States, her name is Lisa. I'm going to share the uh, her, you know, uh, Facebook handle. Oh. So that you guys can know. So that is how I met Lisa from that, my friend. And um, from there, Lisa started putting so much pressure. Lisa pay attention, Lisa put more pressure than the other friend in UK. And um, that's how we started from there. We wow. find ourselves into, you know, loving each other. And from there, we move so you, on. So you bounced from friend to friend. Right. You're a friend, you're a friend fucker. You kind of messed up, Usman. Ah? <laughs> uh? You're a friend fucker. You fuck friends. Yeah, and um, yeah, I got her from, you see? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, I'm, I'm interested in knowing the, because of the age range with you and Lisa being such a huge gap. What is the age range between you and Lisa's friend in the UK? Like, how old was she? Who? Lisa the, or the other friend? The, the other friend. friend. The friend. The other friend. Was she older? She's like old too. <laughs> so is She's that how you too, but, um, is that how you like them, <laughs> or are you just trying a little something with the older ladies, or you typically date older women? No, honestly, naturally, I like a full mature person. Naturally, I like a full mature lady if I want to go for any date. 
So, but this just come as you know coincidence. Honestly, I, it's not that I, I, I have so, so much love for all women. No, just whoever come to me as a fan, I have to respect that person. You know, I'm doing something yeah. and um. You, so you whether you're a kid, you're an adult, you're an old person. Wait, Usma, you're breaking up again. And you show the interest that you look. So, Hello? Yeah, yeah, you're you are breaking, breaking up. up a little bit. But we got the fact that okay. as long Am as... Am I back? Yeah. yeah. We got the fact that as long as they're a fan, you'll give them the D. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Am I back now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 I said... Um, it's not that I prepare uh, dating old uh, older women. No, the, the the truth is that she came to me, the UK lady. She came to me as a fan, and um, I, I was even most of my songs. If you listen, you heard that I I have so much uh, you know my local language in it because mm -hmm. I'm try trying to promote my own language. So, uh oh, uh oh, right. This part that she don't even you know i have to you know i have to show my appreciation do you understand so it's not that yeah, Usman, I, Usman, that's how you I, I got to ask you a question because there's one scene in particular it's not that I prefer that it's breaking up again older women it's just that i have luck okay hello hello sorry we're breaking up again. yeah it's breaking up again Hello? Yes, yeah. now I hear you. Usman, I got to ask you a question. When uh, when the baby love Lisa, when she asked you to uh, go down on her, that was the first time you ever did that? Well, she asked me to do what? See her vagina. <laughs> Lick her kitty cat. <laughs> Respect the box. Can you hear us? Put your face in it. You say what? <laughs> Angela, what did you say? You went down on Lisa when you performed oral sex, when you ate her vagina. Was that the first time you had ever done that? Because she said you never did that before. She had to teach you. Uh, no. <laughs> did you really do it? No, 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 no. I don't do it, honestly. I don't do it. I Did don't you do, do it to Lisa? It. Did Lisa? you do it? No, no. Lisa Where do you get this? You. Who get this? Who give you this information that Lisa, I go down? Baby love. love. Baby love says she had to teach you how to work that tongue, honey. Give you some mouth and lip service. She had to teach you uh, that. Maybe you mi maybe you misunderstood. No, no, no we heard that her she have to teach me. She said that she have to teach me American way. Then I would teach her in an in in, in Nigerian way. Mm -hmm. But she did you do it? I'm going to go down on you know. Did you do it? You didn't go down on her. No, I can't talk about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it like the first time you guys hooked up? You said it wasn't like 100%, uh, but it was pretty decent. When do I do what? Sorry. First time you guys had sex, it was pretty decent because we saw it on 90 Day Fiance. Yeah, I think uh, you said uh, like 70% or something, right? Hey, uh, listen, listen. She, she's my fiance. She ah. came down to Nigeria to, to see me. What do you expect? You know, she can't just because she's from America. In my in my culture, it's not even allowed for you to have sex with a woman that you did not get married to. But mm -hmm. we are trying to blend the two to tradition and culture in the same way. So when she come down <laughs> here, you know, we have to do what we have to do. So we had sex, yes, we have to have sex, and um, we we had sex and it was okay, you know. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, but. The look on your mother's face when she met Lisa was absolutely <laughs> priceless. And it probably would have been my look as well. Were you shocked by the look on her face? Or was you expecting pretty much that your mother was going to act like that when she met her? Um, this is, uh, you know, I'm that kind of person that whatever I want to do, I make decision on it, I go with faith. I don't believe in impossibility. I don't believe there is anything that is going to be impossible to me. So, but before Lisa come down to Nigeria, I know it's going to be tough. 
-hmm. it's not going to be easy for my mom to just say, okay, Usman, you can go ahead and get married to her. I know it's not going to be easy. I know that. But I don't want to tell Lisa because Lisa is in Nigeria already. Mm -hmm. so if I tell her that, you know, uh, we are not going to get mom's blessing. It's going to be, she's going to feel, um, I, you know, I, I lie to her. But right. I just want to, I just want us to, you know, push on, continue, you know, praying and applying so many logic to see how can we, you know, we can convince mom. So I'm not shocked about anything because I know mom is not going to say, okay, go ahead and get married to her. No. Right. Right. In my region, in Nigeria, in Nigeria, we have three, uh, we have about three different regions, which are, you know, big major regions. We have a north, we have east, we have west. My region, the population of Nigeria is about approximately three, uh, 300 million. Mm. My region has the largest and, you know, most populated region. We have over 100 and something million uh, population. And, um, in my region, my culture does not accept marrying any white woman or, you know, for you to bring somebody from another country is totally unacceptable. Not by religion, but by culture I and tradition. Okay, right. well, if she wasn't white, you think it would have been okay if she was like a black woman from the U.S.? No, even if she's black from U.S., it's not going to be okay. The problem if, is that you are bringing somebody from different country. Okay, so any culture, it doesn't matter white or black. But yeah. what if she, I have a question. What if her parents were originally from Nigeria, but she just so happened to be born and raised in the United States? Would that yeah, be if her parents are from Nigeria and um, she based, you know, in uh, maybe her parents based in America, they give birth to her over there, it's a different case because okay. they know where the father, they know where the parents come from. Right. But They're able she, to take the she, she's white. In my, you know, called. in my region, we don't have white at all. In, my, in fact, Africa is not a, it's not a, uh, you know, you, it will sound to you somehow. When you call me black, it's nothing. It's normal. When I call you white, it's nothing. It's normal. You don't feel maybe racist or anything. No. We categorize it the way you look, and it's normal. So she's a white, and she come to a region where the culture and tradition has, be, uh, has been dominated. So it's not easy. I can tell you that I'm the first person to bring any white woman all the way from America down to my region. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not something to be proud of. It's something that has never happened. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to break that culture, uh, you know, rules. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be easy, I know. But I know I have so much influence to my mom. Whatever she see me insisting, whatever she see me paying, uh, you know, paying attention to, she, at the end, she will give up. I always come with positive things. Ooh, my family, can we talk they know me. I don't bring anything that has to be negative. So mm -hmm. when they see me insisting, you know, I push up. Even if they don't like it, they have to stay. Okay, Usman, go ahead and do it. But please don't blame anybody here i thought it was hilarious that your, your mom said that she was going to take you to be a slave um <laughs> but then i thought like she's right though like a sex slave because it seems like lisa is like a bit of a you know yeah. horny one what's the word that y'all would use in nigeria <laughs> but it, it seems like she likes to have sex a lot um not not really not really i i, I don't have to say that i don't think she she like no, not really. She likes it's not that she likes sex a lot. It's just that you know, initially from the ancestors, from the history, white people usually come to Africa, take the black people and turn them to slave. That right, was an right. old era, you know. Mm -hmm. That was an old, you know, during our ancestors. So in our region, that belief is still there. Right. There's still a lot of mistrust. They don't trust. Yeah. Them. Yeah. That. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that belief is still there that this white woman is coming down here, she's taking my child, she's going to take him to America, he's going to be a slave there because they still have that belief in their head. That old mentality. Yeah, but yeah, that mentality is still there. But a person like me that, you know, I've been into music in the, uh, you know, industry, I have, you know, this big exposure, I am out from my region, I'm out from my country even, I've been working around the continent, so I, I know that is not going to be possible. You know, nobody can turn me to slave. Can we talk so about your, don't understand. your boy for a second? Let's talk about your career for a second. Right? Oh, okay, okay. We saw some of okay. your performances. We heard your music. Do you think that being in a relationship with Lisa was harmful to your career, having to change your video and having to worry about women who are your fans, leaving comments and things like that? That's not, that is something that could potentially negatively affect your career. So 
What were your thoughts on that? Because it felt like you were really giving in a lot. Um, yeah, that is a big one. Honestly, it's a big one because that is the challenges I have. Um, because Lisa is very uh, jealous type. She, she don't usually even understand what happened in the music industry. And um, music industry is what I choose. And you know, being a musician is what I choose to be. And I've been on this race for a very long time. You know, I've been into music industry since 2005, but I started making it big around 2014, 15. Mm -hmm. So I choose to be a musician and I don't think there's anybody who is going to stop me. If you cannot go into, if you cannot stand with, you know, my business, honestly, I think the only option is for us to break up. So she has so much love for me and um, she has this problem of, you know, Anytime I post any picture or anything, she get jealous for any lady that is going to come and say, hi, Soja Boy, we love you, and emoji love and all that. She has this problem. I always try to make her understand this is not something that you have to be jealous mm -hmm. with. This is my career. And that is the way that I can, that is the way I will understand I'm doing well by responding from my fans. And, uh, you know, the young ladies, are very important when it comes to you know entertainment. They buy the music. Yeah, she needs to understand that they love Soldier Boy and that she loves Usman. And that even though you are both people, that they don't share the part of Usman that she shared. They don't share Usman with her. They share Soldier Boy with her. So she needs to understand that business is business, and that's a part of how you thrive in this industry. You have to have fans. The fans that love you is what drive your music and drive your market up so that you can make money. And, and she needs to understand that it's just business. How would she feel about an interview like this with three, uh, three women that are nice looking? How would she feel <laughs> about something like this? Oh man, she's gonna hate on us. <laughs> would she snatch the computer away from you? What do you think? No, no. Listen, um, it, it is what it is. You know, I choose <laughs> to be what who I choose to be. So I have been, you know, I have to tolerate. You know, when it, whenever you are staying with somebody, you have to tolerate each other. Mm -hmm. but it has limits so my music career is my music career. she's not gonna stop but i don't have to stop too so what did you what, she what, stopped what, that model from being in that video <laughs> yeah, yeah she stopped uh, listen she stopped the model from being into you know music video but we have already shot the scenes all the yeah, shots yeah. we have already shot we edited we got the music video complete already so it is when she complained then i was like okay i'm doing this this music video is particularly for her, but she is taking the credit. She don't understand. <laughs> she don't understand. Take the credit. You are the originator. You are the reason why I sing the song, but that does not mean that you are going to give me all the money I'm supposed to get from the music video. So just mm -hmm. take the credit and allow me to run with the, uh, make the, make the business. So in, the in the future, video. if you make a video with a woman and the song isn't about her, is she still going to have a problem that you have a nice looking woman in the video? Anytime Lisa sitting with any woman around me, whether by <laughs> social media or anywhere, is going to feel. Y'all need, need somebody to, to really instill in her that it's just business. And she said, "My face should be in the clouds." <laughs> y'all not y'all not together anyway, right? So, no, he said that's his fiance. No, it just, was when she just came out. What's happening here, Usman? Are you not getting me? Is no, we want to know the tea. We're asking you: Are you guys together currently? Can we see your hand? Do you have My one house. on the screen? That's not his fiance anymore. So y'all yeah. are not, y'all are no longer together. Listen, we are I saw together. some women on your Instagram page, Usman, and I know she was. Usman. Hey, listen. The issue here is that in my culture, <laughs> in my culture, marriage or being fiancé does not refer for you to put ring. 90% mm -hmm. of the people in my region, they don't put on ring. You're not okay, answering. So men don't wear rings either. Never say no. We don't use ring at all. I only try to put the ring to make sure that Lisa feel okay. She feel better. Mm. But it's not in our culture. It's not in our tradition. Mm. So what do you have to say about the people that think that you were doing this just so that you could get to America? Because I definitely wasn't, um, and I still might not be 100% sold on the fact that you just saw Lisa and was like, ooh, so sexy. Can't wait to get in a relationship with her. Okay, um, everybody has his own opinion and you have right to your opinion. If anybody jump 
up and say that, oh, this guy is, is fucking crazy. You know, he's just doing this to get to America. It's your, it's your opinion. You don't get me angry easily, you know? I, I don't want to get you angry. No, that's I just, not, that's not no, 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 I'm not talking oh. about you. I'm talking about people. <laughs> I'm like, not I'm talking me. about people. <laughs> okay. No, not you. I'm talking about people who were saying that this guy is doing this just to get to America. You have right to your opinion. It is what you feel like. But if I want to come to America, I've been dating Lisa for a good three years. Mm -hmm. You know? So I met with Lisa. I met with that. Lisa March 2017. So if I want to come to America, I would have come to America, you know? Mm -hmm. So you would say that you're you're in love though. Oh? Huh? You're in love with Lisa. In love. Um, yeah, I have to be. I'm in love with her because somebody who is being with you for almost every day, you get used to that person. And if you if you don't talk to that person, sometimes you miss him. So by the time you start missing somebody, definitely I think it's either you love him or you care for him. So I love Lisa. Do you remember the moment that you fell in love? Do you remember what it was that you was like, man? I think I'm in love with this lady. I really, I really feel yeah, for her. Yeah, it, it was from the time that I start missing her, you know? Mm -hmm. when, when the first time we had issue and it's been about like three days, I didn't hear from her. She didn't call me. I was like, I'm missing something, you know? There's somebody I used to talk to and this person is not talking to me today. What, what is happening? So I have to call her. I was like, why didn't you call me for today? She was like, no, you know, it's like he, I'm forcing myself to you, blah, blah, blah. I was like, it's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's just forget about that. And let's continue and um that's how we you know resolve that issue and we continue so now do you feel like your fans had an issue with the fact that you're with lisa how did that affect your career because i know even watching you uh doing the video release party and the women did not look too thrilled when they, they saw that they video was booing they saw, you okay they saw lisa <laughs> in the audience how did that affect your fans uh, honestly it is that is what bothers me a lot you know because Lisa, you know, she is always at this, you know, chasing my fans. And um, it is giving me so much, you know, bad in my career. Because I can tell you there is one, there is one lady that was even asking me how can she access to my song. I said, just go to any digital platform, search for Soja Boy and you see my song. She was like, no, no, no. After, after all this, she was like, no, please. I don't, I don't even, I don't even want anything that has to do with you because that you are old cat, blah blah blah. She was insulting this. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So it is affecting my, it is affecting my career seriously, Anna. And um, honestly, I'm not feeling good about that because this is the way for me to make my revenue. This is the way for me to get my income. And if a lady that is going to be with me have to, you know, be doing this for me to to kill my career, then where am I going to be in the next, in the nearest future? So I, I don't think we have to just get, we have to get solution to this problem or we have to break up. That is just the fact. It's wow. either for us to have the solution to this problem. It's either for her to accept it and allow me to do my things in a way that I'm supposed to do it or we just have to break up. That is just the truth. So basically you're saying if it really comes down to your career or Lisa, you would choose your career. Career, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. How are y'all approached to do this show? Huh? How was you, how are you guys approached to do 90 Day Fiance? Um, I, I'm done that I applied for it and um I was access and um they access me with the series of all this interview and all those things. From mm -hmm. there they selected me, then we start processing it with the documents, you know, papers. Right. Uh, Usman, and, what's um, the What's the most romantic thing that Lisa's ever done for you? The most romantic thing. <laughs> um, it's baby love, you know. She called me baby love, I call her baby, uh, baby girl Lisa. <laughs> baby girl well, Lisa. The most romantic thing I have ever done, you know, is when I, when, when Lisa, you know, was, when she came down to Nigeria and, uh, you know, I welcome her at the airport. And I come with a, you know, flower. I have never done that. You know, I told you, I've never been to any serious relationship in my life. Wow, this is your first one. Okay. Yeah, that was my first time to bring a flower that I was welcoming my, 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 your woman. Is it my girlfriend or my fiance or my woman. How am I going to say that? So that, was the, <laughs> that was the first time, you know, I did that. So. Oh, wow. So you never yeah, cheated or anything, romantic. Usman? You said what? You never cheated. You never got caught cheating or anything? After meeting Lisa? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, I'm just checking. 
I say you're a faithful man. <laughs> Those are yeah, I am. No, the point is that <laughs> the point is that um I'm a man, you know. I would men, and men have woman. temptation. I would have a desire for any for woman, but I don't pay too much attention to women. Mm-hmm. Because at this you know time, I think my career is more important. Right. If you want me and you think maybe you love me, please help me and um, you know support me to push my career up. So I I I, I don't usually pay attention. All this thing of love, you know. I choose one lady and I date that lady and I'm okay. I don't have to, you know, go to this room and go to, no, I don't do that, honestly. Do you watch the other people, the other couples on 90 Day Fiance? Like, do you watch Big Ed? Yeah, who's yeah, your I favorite watch. couple? Uh, my favorite is this this season? Yeah, this yeah. Season yeah. Right other than yourself. Yeah, they, they're all doing good, you know, I love all of them, honestly. So who's, your favorite them. Them. who's your favorite? I don't really, <laughs> I don't really have one particular couple, but I feel like these are the best. They are all doing good, and I love all of them. Erica, you know, Big Ed, you know, Tom and Desi, you know, <laughs> David, all of them, you know. Big Ed is hilarious. He, he is maybe you should hook him up with your girlfriend. Yeah, hook him up with the girl from the UK. <laughs> yeah, are. hook him up. Hook him up with somebody because no, not him. The other guy is desperate. The one that's like going door to door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I felt so bad for this guy. I, I I don't know about you know I don't know about them you know I I was just watching and I was like oh because I I was confused <laughs> I was confused with the way things are going but everybody has his own storyline so I don't so, know. It looks like you're really close with your you're obviously you're close with your family but you also respect your sisters a lot. How would you feel if one of your sisters came? to you and your family with our older white guy that, you know, was just like an older white guy that she met online and was like, hey, I'm moving to America and I'm going to marry this old white man. How would you feel about that? You know, the, I know it's not going to even, it's not going to be possible. I told you, I'm the only bold and brave <laughs> enough to do that. Not in my family, not in my family, in my region. In the whole region. Oh, <laughs> I don't think there's anybody who can, can do that. So you would be shocked. You'd be like, oh my God, we really are related. I'll be shocked, honestly. I'll be shocked. I'll be very, <laughs> very shocked. But I know in my family, nobody can even think about that. Right. Now, what's going on with the career now, Soldier Boy? What's the, the next single? Because this is the perfect time for you to put out some new heat. Because we love dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. Hey. Yeah. I talk about it, dabbing. Hey. Dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. Hey. dabbing. We got him for hand, we got him for eyes, we got him for facing. We do you with hand, we do you on bend, we do you on sitting. I'm the man of the dab, soja boy, I give no style and ha. When it's sabun takuni, na kamoku ba when the air ni are you da some babari, what are mumuki at chinya, the soja kwin ni ban sun shirin me, what ana ia ba amanzani, o make a ia kawani. Let me tell you something. The reason for my name is simple. No. I got it for my expression. 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 You know, that is, um, that is an old song, but it is still vibing. You know? But the one that I have, uh, the, 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 the new single I had is Connect. It is on all digital uh, platforms iTunes, Amazon, Deezer, Boomplay, everywhere. It is called Connect. Okay. And um, it is very good song. I think this is, for me, this is the best song I have ever, you know, sung. What's it about? It is about, you know, I most of my expression, I got it from love. It's all about love. Uh, you are so in yeah. love. Yeah, that's so nice. That's really but um, such a boy, you lied. And let yeah. me tell you why. Um, <laughs> So when you, when Lisa went to go meet with your family and she said that she, you know, works at a hospice and she takes care of old people, you told your family she was a doctor. Okay, now there's a big difference. That's a translation right. lie. Okay, okay, I will explain to this. I will explain. It is not that I'm lying. Is, yeah, it is in our country, especially in my region, you don't easily differentiate from, you know, nurse, doctor, house caregiver, and all that. So right. it all I caught it short. Umbrella. I caught it short for my family to understand 
<laughs> in which field did she work? It also made her look a little better when you said doctor. Okay. Yeah, and I'm giving her a credit, you know? Yes, I see. Right, exactly. <laughs> Put a little also, on that. also, did so, it bother you? Or so, go ahead. What bothers me? Oh, uh, did it bother you or does it bother you when you look back at the episodes and you kind of see the things that Lisa has to say and her friends behind your back? Because even when the whole goat thing and she said that you was allowing the man to rip her off, does that make you feel some kind of a way? Because if you guys are in love, you know, you wouldn't let anybody do nothing like that. So does that hurt your feeling? I always try to protect her. So mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think I don't. Is there any man that touch her? No, I don't let anybody to come close to Lisa. Okay, you actually, I'll say this. He does seem like a genuinely nice person. So yes, I know people watch 90 Day Fiance and they're like, Is this real? And I know we watched the two of you and we were like, Okay, he's just you know, I don't you know. know. Yeah, I don't wanna, really know. But you might, might want to come to the USA to become a big rap star. I don't know. But at, at one point, it was when you did have to stand up for yourself. What you doing in the camera, friend? What is that? Hey. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, no, I'm trying. I'm trying to wait. Wait, hold on. But I'm I, I, trying to. I'm trying to make sure that uh, it's like the network is giving us some kind of okay. It's okay now. Yeah, you, At one point, you did decide you had to stand up for yourself though, because you know, as, as in your culture, as a man, you're supposed to lead, and your people were letting you have it when it came to that. So, uh, what made you finally decide? Okay, this is enough. Uh, I think I need to break this out, you know. I need to. No, you see, initially, honestly, it took me for about good six months. I didn't accept Lisa as somebody who I can get married to. But after being with Lisa for some time, she was telling me that she loved me. She do, she's the one that started saying that she loved me. For good six months, she said that she loved me. So I was kind of like, I was thinking, because I have no any intention to come to America. Let me be honest. I know America is good. I know America is better than my country. Mm. But this is my country. This is where I live. This is where I'm doing my things. And mm. the things I'm doing is moving well. If today I come to America, it takes me like six months or one year for me to get paper before I can start work. So how can I go to a place where I can go and start waiting for paper to be documented before I can do anything while I have where I can do my things freely? So I know America is good, but I was not having any intention to go to America, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So when Lisa started telling me that she loved me, she did this, she did that, I was like, okay. Because this woman is always, you know, giving me, you know, this love stuff. And if I say no to that, she start crying. And if you want to win my hand, if you want to force me to do anything, start crying. I hate to see anybody cry. Mm -hmm. I don't like to see anybody cry. So maybe she used that advantage. She start, you know, crying all the time. And I was like, okay, okay, you love me. I love you too then let's move on but i that said that because like i believe she's not coming down to nigeria i'm in nigeria she's in america so if she says she loved me she's far away from me and i know it's not easy for her to just pick her back and say she's coming to nigeria so i was like it's okay let me just accept that love so after some time i was like this cannot continue we spent about a year, uh, you know one year you telling me that you love me you love me and i was saying that i love you i love you but deeply in me, I know it's not love. I don't, I don't love you for real, honestly. But I do that to make you happy. Mm. I do that to, you know, to make you happy, to calm you down. So Lisa started, you know, trying to hang herself, commit suicide. I was like, no, no. My father is an imam. And we were taught in a way that it's good for you to please somebody. It's better I tolerate her, you know, problems, all the headaches she's giving me, and make her leave. Then for me to say I didn't love her, then she go and kill herself. So I was like, it's better for me to tolerate, to tolerate that, you know, then she live life. I have the word that I make somebody to live life. Then for me to say, no, I don't love you. I should go and kill herself because of me. So that is how it happened. After meeting with Nanti Day's fiance, I applied for that. The Lisa start making arrangements for her to come down and she must come to Nigeria. When Lisa was coming to Nigeria, she was like, she's coming to meet me and um. I was like, I don't know what is going to happen. But even after Lisa came down to Nigeria, she was still talking about, you know, getting married to me. And I know this is not going to be easy, but mm -hmm. I just have to let her come. Let's give it a trial. You know, 
So, so that is the truth about into, it. It's like you got trapped into a relationship. Petty. Honestly, I can say yes. I can say yes. Mm. That's what it sounds like. You got trapped into this relationship and you got stuck in it and then you felt bad about I'm it. I'm sorry, Usman. That's awful. That's no, I'm yeah, see, it. The point here is that I am doing this to make Lisa happy. What about making what her about you? Happy? Are you happy? Yeah, um, I think... Uh, you found time is coming, what, what I believe, listen, what I be, because if you check it at the point is that Lisa cannot give me a child and um, I need a child. You know? But if I do this to make her happy, maybe time is coming that I'll have chance. Because in my fam, in my religion and in my culture, I'm allowed to get married to four wives. Lisa is not having that. Not going for that. Yeah. You can't yeah. even have any you fans. No four wives. You can't even get a kissy face <laughs> emoji. You ain't get a baby four girl. Wives. You can't even uh, have a woman like your picture. <laughs> he is not yeah, letting yeah, baby but, with another woman. See, you you need to get this. Sometimes <laughs> you have to adopt with the way people behave. There are some people that become, uh, you know, they become part of you. You cannot, you know, get rid of them. But they are doing things that they are doing. You just have to, you know, take it like that because it cannot continue. I know this cannot going to continue forever. Okay, this Uzma, is- how much money does she send you a month? <laughs> how much money? How much money? Mm-hmm. How much money? How much does she send you a month? Lisa does not have that much. Okay, she's so like a thousand? Money. She's not rich to send me money. <laughs> but no, she's getting a 90-day fiancé check. So is she sending you her check? As long as he get his own check, okay, and you could get bored. Hey, listen, listen, you're sacrificing a lot, and I just want to know what you and, know. Yeah, and Usman, does she know about this plan to have four wives? No, she knows that, and she's okay with it. She's not okay with it, but she cannot stop me. <laughs> yeah, that's the wow. truth. This does not sound like it's gonna happen. It doesn't. This doesn't like sound like it's See. In as much as she cannot give child, even if we are going to stay together, I must get a child. And that is to say, I have to get married to another woman. It's definitely, not only Lisa, whoever I'm going to stay with in my life, if you cannot give a child, honestly, I have to get another wife. That is must. Mm -hmm. So you're way more notable now. A lot of more people know your name since you're on TV every Sunday. So I know you, the women was already fans of yours before. How has the turn up and demand been for Usman from the ladies? And how many ladies are sliding in your DM? And have you given any chances out? Um, honestly, I can't count because the last time I count the DMs I had is about 1,000 plus. So I... I don't have to count because I have other things to do. And uh, in most cases, in most cases, I have my PR. Sometimes he. But thank you for responding times. to my DM. Yeah, I appreciate that. I definitely DM'd him. Yeah, I have to. I have to. You know, sometimes the way you can take my attention is the way you can get my attention is for you to repost my song. I told you, whatever you do, whatever you have to do that has to do with my music, I will check. And once I see it, I will appreciate by either reposting or telling you thank you because you are supporting me. So, and when, when, when I check, I see anybody posting or, you know, putting, it's either posting on the page or putting on status, I would definitely repost. So okay. in that way, you can get my attention and um, I don't go for all. So the ones that I just, you know, slide into and I check, I check those that I didn't get, please, I'm sorry, uh, I'm just one person. And if my uh, PR is handling my phone, sometimes he also do that. So sometimes it's not even me talking to the people, honestly. So the women I, aren't I hitting to... on you. They're not hitting on you in your DM? Who? Of course. Like women. Women. Yeah. Yeah, they do. They of do. You ignore them? It's not I ignore. If you go deeply into different conversation, I just tell you, sorry, I'm th- I thank you, and I'll tell you, bye-bye. But if you say anything about me, that you love my music, you watch me on the night days fancy, you love me, I will say, okay, thank you. I really appreciate that. And, and that's I'm, it. Yeah, that's it, because I want to go deeply, because if I continue replying to all the ladies, then I'm going to get different name, not Soja Boy, not Osman anymore. Well, we appreciate you so much, and we <laughs> wish you the best of luck with everything that you have going on with your music. So right now you have a new song out. A new yeah, song. I have a new song called uh, Connect, and um, I'm going to start, despite the quarantine, despite the coronavirus, but we are, you know, we are starting the shooting of this music video next tomorrow. Okay. 
yeah 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 i have already have all my my team the music video director is you know around and um everything is said we are going to start shooting because that song is that song is communicating you know the song is communicating to the heart i urge everybody to you know listen to the song it's a very good song for me it is the best song i have ever sung Oh, but we got to hear this. Can't wait to hear it. Keep yeah, Lisa yeah, out yeah, the video, yeah. child. And don't have any women in the video. It's all guys, right? <laughs> no, no, I need to. I need to. I need to. This is the song. Gotta have a hot baby. Okay, let's hear it. This is the song. You need to start a challenge. Right now, buddy, don't do it. Uh -huh, Gigi, you started. You need, the, you need the wine for me, go down for me challenge. You need that con that connect challenge. You need to start a challenge. Get the TikTok. Yeah, you got a challenge on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, it is there. It is there. It is in everywhere. All the digital platform. I post it on my uh, TikTok, my IG, everywhere. It need my, my, if everybody. you check my DM, if you check my DM, that's the picture over there. How the I mean, dance go, DM. Uzman? Let's see the dance. You do the dance. I should do the dance? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sitting down right now. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much. We'll be thank watching you. Thank you. To what happens. And don't thank get you. Relationships anymore, just because you feel bad. You said what? I said, don't get trapped into any more relationships just out of sympathy. No, no, more no, 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 no. I'm okay. I'm okay with my Lisa, you know. I'm still with my Lisa for now, and um, we cool. So okay. I, I don't think it's right for me to go into another relationship. Okay. And even if I want to, you ready for work too? So <laughs> is the goat know. still alive? Did you, yeah. Did y'all eat the goat yet? Yeah, I'll be going live on 19. No, no, no. The goat, the goat that you bought is the goat. Yeah, it's still, still alive. alive. <laughs> yeah, it's still alive. It's still alive. So when when are you guys going to when are you guys going to have goat? Like y'all going to eat that? Is it going to be like a big like family like situation, <laughs> or is it going to get chopped down and put in the deep freezer? We have to keep it for a reason. Like maybe Lisa come down from all the way from another country to my country, and this is what she bought to my mom. But so she knew that she was buying it for y'all to eat it, right? Yeah, sometimes maybe. It may be kill anytime, but not soon because okay, it's something that for a little while longer first. I thought yeah, 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 yeah. my mom said no, she was gonna take the goat back. But... Me too. <laughs> no, no. The, the the thing is that we are trying to apply that you know logic, <laughs> bringing anything you know whatever you know whoever is trying to please your heart will always win your heart. She yeah. had money for that goat. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we are trying to you know, mom. I know my mom. She like, you know, she like all these animals. So we're like trying to give her this, you know, to, you know, touch her heart. Not because this is the price for my mom. No. She looked happy. I so I know what we can do. That's why we try that. You she understand? You. If that does not work, you know, we have to apply another method. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, thank you, Usman. We appreciate it. We'll be watching you and following you. Okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And bye. I yeah, bye. Bye, baby love. <laughs> yeah, bye, baby girl Lisa, bye, baby girl Angela, baby girl Lori, and baby girl Jeannie. <laughs>